Blend shapes are essential part of 3D animation. They help you trans transition from one state to another. But if you have to create 50 of them, or create the left and the right, it can become very cumbersome um, for the rigging process. So I created this tool, which is, um, I'm giving it out for free. The link for you to download it is in the description. And I'm going to be showing you how to use that tool in your workflow. So once you download the file, you should get something like this. And there's a quick instruction that you should unzip this first. So we'll just unzip this. And you see we have two add-ons. So we can now come to Blender here. Install. So we got compressed. So we want to install these two add-ons. So you can install them at once or just double click them. If I double click this, I already have that. Display shape keys and we have the control sh shape key, shape controls for the shape keys. So you want to enable them and we can get started on this tutorial. So we have our object here. We're going to just create a simple blend shape. Uh, let's call this smile. Okay, and then we go into scope mode and make sure we have this at 100%. I am going to just move this in slightly to create a smile expression. So we have our expression now, and if we right move the slider, you can see it changes the state from one position to the other. So let's say we need to split this into left and right, and we need a fast way to do it. So that's where this tool comes in, the split shape key. Um, it works pretty awesome. So let's, um, it asks you for the left and right. So basically you can define that yourself. So we'll select half of it. and assign a vertex group to it and invert that selection. Assign it so we can call this right and we can call this left. Okay, so if we go into the weight paint, we can see when we select the left, we have this part selected. And when we go to the right, we have this selected. Before we move on, we need to make sure that the transition between the left and right is very smooth. Um, so we need to blur out this edge. And to do that, we go here in the weight and make sure we have the X symmetry turned up. So we want to click on symmetry and uncheck it. Because if we don't have this turned on, turn off, we do blur or smooth. And sometimes if it's a symmetric model, it might trans tra transfer to the other part. So just to be safe, we're going to uncheck that. So we're going to click on smooth. So smooth it a little bit so it transitions nicely um, between the two okay so we do that for the right um, right too so we do not and it blends it nicely okay so once we have this we can just click on the left and we input the right so it asks you do you want to keep the original shape key so if we don't have this unchecked so if we click on this but it's going to create two new shape keys, but we're going to see have the initial one, which is masked by a vertex group. But um, yeah, if you remove the vertex group, you can see we still have the original one and we have the newly created ones. If you want to kind of delete it because you're just working first, you can just delete the original and create new shape keys. So we have for the left, right, and we have for the left. So with this, you can now create controls. So for the control, um, this is where it gets fun. So let's say we want to create a new control for this mouse and we want to do it fast because we are kind of um, working with like 50 shape keys. So it requires you to have an amateur. So basically like your usual rig, so you're rigging your character and that's what you need. So you need an amateur to be able to create controls. Um, so for that, you want to get the shape control. You select your base amateur. So now we want when we move, I will just flip this. So we want when we move this up, So if we move our controller upwards, we get the smile. So to do that, um, we need to, um, in the shape controls, we can see it has the amateur input and we have the transform orientation. So we want it to go up. Okay, 
and then we have influence now we'll look we'll talk about this influence in a bit but once you just select the amateur and select the location next you want to click your 3d cursor where you want that control bone to be created and just click on add and there you go you have your control bone so we can move this out and it's adding it to that amateur rig so as you can see with just a click we have a control so let's delete that and look at more features i'm going to delete the driver so move this down so we can save so we can see it took a lot of influence for us if so if you want to get a sharp a quick um states change um you can increase the value of this so if i set this to te um, 10 and click on let's see here and now since we set the influence value to 10 if we move it it um, trans um transition faster and this has still driver which you can go in and kind of edit yourself okay so what about if we want to do inverse direction so delete that bone so how about if we want to do inverse direction so you just need to negative and if we create new controller make sure we have the amateur selected and if we go inverse of the y location you can see it's um we're seeing the result of the blend shape so that's the the tool is pretty straightforward um and you also have access for using existing bones so we'll, we'll make a quick example um so we want this to go positive y and we add new blend shape so it's here um maybe in future we'll add a parameter to scale up the bone um, but you have it here so if we move this upwards we have this so we want to also apply another shape key onto this bone uh, we want to use this bone as a driver for another shape key um so let's um sculpt that in um just on the y um position this time so let's say we want it to be sad when the bone goes down okay so we have a new shape key and we can select this bone and basically just get its name and one also awesome thing is if we create as we're creating the controller it's taking the name of the shape key so you don't have to rename it it just has a name already um okay so we want um this shape key to be controlled by this so we just click on use existing bone and select the bone so we want it to be influenced by the negative y and we click on generate and once you click on that you have it so it goes up and it goes down and it, at the same time, it's quite easy to just um, you uncheck this, click 10, select the shape key, click on this location, add new blend shape, and there you go. Just move it out. And since they are being named automatically, um, if you named and you generate them left and right, you easily just get symmetry for free. So if you're interested in it, the link will be in the description. Um, check it out. Um, yeah. Also, we have a Discord channel. Um, I, I'm trying to kind of build it some more these days. So um, join us. It's, a, it's an active um, community. We're sharing projects. We're sharing ideas, even some tools. We talk about it there, and it's just a fun place. So check it out. The link will be in the description. Thank you so much for watching this video. Bye-bye for now. See you next.